18 hours SME caravan will now make its way to another company that makes all kinds of conveyor belts. From construction to agriculture, mining and a host of other industries, this company caters to the conveyor belting needs of all of them. Take a look. India's manufacturing sector has seen phenomenal growth in industries like infrastructure, ports, mining, cement, steel, etc. This has increased the need for rubber conveyor belts in the market. To meet this rising demand, in 1964, Deepak Arora, a former IITN, established Continental Belting, a company that offers appropriate solutions for conveyor belting. Right from the time I was at IIT, even the projects which were given to me were actually converted into enterprises although meant to financially benefit somebody else but a rewarding experience and the success that came our way led to the process uh, getting onto our own enterprise. Second generation entrepreneur Rohit Arora is the current face of continental belting. Under his leadership, the company is today doing business with reputed clients across the world and has achieved a remarkable turnover of over 100 crore rupees per annum. In fact, 8 of the top 10 companies in any industry that use conveyor belts are today clients of Continental Belting. We have been seeking uh, many paths. We have failed in many at the, before these were introduced to the market. But we know one right method out of so many wrong methods to reach where we are. Continental Belting's workshops are fitted with the latest German vulcanizing systems, state-of-the-art handling systems and cutting machines that provide the highest accuracy. The company also has specialized rubber mixing and compounding systems that help it create products of the highest quality. Continental Belting offers a large variety of rubber conveyor belts and all its products are customized to client specifications. So what inspires you to be an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurship for me is uh, a vehicle which takes me from uh, thought to reality, from uh, concept to product, from theory to practice. And uh, of course, wealth making is only incidental. We support uh, more than 65 to 70 families directly and indirectly uh, maybe hundreds of uh, families would be dependent on uh, the activities that this organization does. So that is uh, broadly what entrepreneurship means to me. Tell us a little about the early days. How difficult was it and what sort of an investment did you begin with? I have been uh, told that in 1985, uh, Continental be Belting began with a debt of uh, 1.18 lakh rupees. And uh, since then we haven't looked back. Today it's an absolutely debt-free company with very strong reserves. And uh, even now, we are performing well below our potential because as per our working style, we generally would, would be working more comfortably and uh, uh, doing little lesser than our potential so that uh, we can do our innovative work and uh, do a quality job. And what would you say is the unique selling point of Continental Belting? Continental Belting provides solutions. We understand the application, we understand the systems in totality and we are experts at taking care of shoe pinching problems. That's what we typically address. That is what sets us apart from the competition. Do you see the demand for your kind of products going up? Well, I, I strongly feel that India would be contributing very strongly to the, uh, the production in the world scenario. And obviously sectors like steel, power, cement, glass, uh, infrastructure are very buoyant. And I, I expect uh, with the growth of these industries, automatically the consumption of belts to go up. The story of Continental Belting is a successful one in the Indian context. Now the company wants to strengthen its base in the international market by setting up plants in various countries and with that it aims to become a top player in the global rubber conveyor belting industry. Continental Belting Systems to me uh, seems to be a case where uh, what, you know, the company needs to institutionalize a real asset which is the brain of Mr. Arora and you know, make that into an asset that works even without Mr. Arora working day and night personally. Try to become the acknowledged thought leader in conveyor belting by using that knowledge, codifying it 
and making you know and share the knowledge freely let it be continental's knowledge that is shared freely with the world let the other companies say we also subscribe to this and i think that's the way forward for continental